Natasha Carr, and these are my fellow tribe members for Optimus Theater, Shakespeare in the Park, The Tempest. We just uh, completed our first successful uh, run-through and rehearsal. So what are some thoughts you guys have about tonight? What's some things that went well that you think? I think we worked well as a group, but you guys, mm -hmm. yeah. Teamwork. Great teamwork. Um, for me, the most interesting part was the choreography. <laughs> that was really exciting. I thought that was quite uh, fun. I liked uh, I liked learning a bit more about um, the future of the production, mm -hmm. um, but not just like hearing about it, just doing it, doing the future of the production was really cool. How did you hear guys hear about this production? I was asked by Tom. Tom and I are friends, and he um, invited me to come and be a part of it. And I met Susan and Rod, and I'm very excited about it. So. Tom told us about it. <laughs> <laughs> so Tom Reed. <laughs> Tom Reed, um, why do you guys feel Milwaukee needs a Shakespeare in the Park? Because this is the first time it's actually being brought here, and we're ahead of Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> why do you feel that Milwaukee needs Shakespeare in the Park? I always grew up with Shakespeare, because mm -hmm. um, I come from a family of English teachers and, and actors. So. Uh, <laughs> When I, I don't know, I feel that uh, Shakespeare really uh, brings a lot to the community and uh, it being free just allows it to open it to a whole other audience and bring it really to just everyone and bring a whole city together into a collaborative effort or something. I think it's important that we bring those people that never get to experience it so then they fall in love with it too and <laughs> just oh, yeah. spread the sure. quality. It's always looking for fun stuff to do with my mom, so it's always fun to find stuff to do with my kids. And they're a little bit older now. They're in uh, high school and college, so this is something that I can bring them to, and they'll appreciate and enjoy. What's um, one thing that you guys heard about today the tribe will be doing that you're really excited to do? Well, I think for me it was picking, we get to pick our own personalities for each um, each one of us gets to have our own personality, so a bunch of different things went off in my head when I started really like thinking and looking around. Another thing that was interesting was I started looking around at all of you guys and trying to think of what I, how I could react to you and where, where, what you would choose and what I would choose and how we would all bounce off of each other. That was pretty exciting. Yeah, I'm really excited to become the foundation for Caliban and Crawl Through. I just want to, I want to see how that whole thing is going to work. I think that'll be pretty great. I really like how we're all like one, yeah. like mm. try like one person, like we're all connected and like we're going to do things together and stuff like that's pretty cool. I'm super excited to like, become the magic and <laughs> make all the raindrops <laughs> and all the different like collaborative things we're doing are, are going to be a lot of fun and really cool for us and the audience. So. Okay, so if you guys could speak to the audience now and convince them, what would you say? What would convince them to want to come see this production? Why should people come see this? They don't want to miss it. <laughs> <laughs> if they if they have seen Tempest or any Shakespeare before, it's not going to be like this. Mm -hmm. And if they haven't, this will be the the experience of a lifetime. So yeah, oh, yeah. some incredible acting, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty excited. All right, cool. Well, thank you, tribe members, <laughs> and we're out.